Venerables, BGR team members, supporters, walkers, and good friends. First, I want to thank everyone who participated in the walk today, all of you, and to all who contributed in any capacity, also all of you. I thank all those who helped ensure the success of the walk in any way, especially those who volunteered at the sites of the walk. I thank the Venerable Nuns and other clergy and Dharma teachers who came out to inspire the walkers with talks and with their calm presence. And I deeply thank those of you who joined the walk and made donations to support our work. If you haven't yet donated, please do so and give generously for the purpose of the walk is to raise funds to support our future projects. Each year, about 12 Walks to Feed the Hungry are held in various sites around the U.S., mostly in the autumn, but also some in spring. There have also been solidarity walks in India and Uganda. Each walk is unique, yet all these walks share a common purpose. The walk is an exercise of compassion and action, an expression of solidarity with others, a movement of the heart that seeks to rescue people from a life of suffering and give them a chance to flourish. All the walks are dedicated to ensuring that nobody on this planet is condemned to a life of hunger, that no one has to endure the misery of malnutrition. Under the shadow of perpetual hunger, life becomes a constant day-by-day -day struggle to obtain enough food just to subsist. Such a plight is particularly hard on children whose frail bodies need sufficient nutrition to develop into healthy adults. A hungry child cannot study properly, cannot learn, cannot think, cannot thrive. A hungry child will grow up with a stunted body, short, weak, and under, underweight, and with a brain does it, that does not develop to its full capacity. Hunger creates a self-sustaining cycle by which each generation contributes to the hunger and malnutrition of the next generation. BGR product projects are intended to break this vicious cycle. We currently have some 40 projects around the world, spread out from Mongolia through Asia and Africa to Haiti, Latin America, and North America. If you take a look at the projects on our website, you will notice that many of them are designed to support poor students and provide them with meals. Many deliberately aim to benefit girl students. We focus on the education of girls because providing girls with the chance to go to school is one of the most effective ways to break the cycle of poverty. When girls are educated, they will marry later, have fewer children, and will be more highly respected in their family and communities. They will also be able to earn more and have a better understanding of nutrition. BGR is now in its 11th year of service. We started in 2008 with an initial account of $20,000 and launched three pilot projects. This past year, we brought in over $600,000 in donations and now sponsor more than 40 projects, some on quite a large scale. The task of combating hunger is one of the major challenges facing humankind today, and we are proud that BGR, as a Buddhist organization, is playing a role in meeting that challenge. By walking today on behalf of the hungry and by donating to support the work of Buddhist Global Relief, you are putting compassion into action. Again, I express my heartfelt appreciation to you for turning up for the walk and send you all my deepest thanks. May you all experience in abundance the blessings of peace, happiness, health, and joy in the Dharma. Sincerely, Venerable Bhikkhu Zodi. Wonderful. So let's uh, have a break, enjoy each other's company and the beauty of this day. Yes. Let me say one more thing, which is just, um, if you have any questions about Berkeley Zen Center, feel free to ask me or my wife Lori back there. Yeah. Um, and just to say, we're here. Um, we have meditation practice six days a week, and you are welcome to come and join us anytime. There's no, there's no cost. We're, we're in this in this Soto Zen tradition, uh, 
but it's a meditation that's available to everybody. So I just want to say, and you can just walk all around with your Jiso garden back there and uh, see how this place is taken care of. And you're welcome to join us anytime. Beautiful. And Thank we'll you. head out about 345 for those folks who are walking with us back to Dharma College, okay? Beautiful.